Okay, today I'm going to show you how to add extra effects on Audacity. So first of all, you're going to have to go to this website right here, hitsquad.com slash smn slash or whatever, you know, this website right here. And um, it'll give you a list of options. Freeware is always the best. Uh, let's see, where's my mouse? There it is right here. Uh, we're going to click on Advanced MIDI Gate version 1.0.1. .1. All right, and here's the description right here, a gate effect. So I'm just going to left click on that. It'll bring up something else. So now we're going to click on USA, Download USA. And now the download didn't start right away. If, if that happens, um, go to this whitish yellow thing right here. Hold your mouse on it and left click on it and pick download file. Alright, now we're gonna actually download the file. And here's the important part. Where do, where do we put this file? I'll show you. Go to save it to my computer. Go to local disk C. Uh, program files and in my case it's Audacity or whatever audio program you're using and go to plugins. See this is a plugin. And then you save it. And just hit save. Alright, and this shouldn't take very long depending on your depending on your internet connection. Alright, so it's processing right now and there you go, it's downloaded. Now we really don't need the website anymore. Now what we need to do is go, to, now it, the hardest part now is just getting everything organized. All right, go to my computer. I went to the start menu here and went to go to my computer. Go to the hard drive, look at the C. Um, go to basically the same um, directory as we just got done going through. Program files, go to Audacity, plugins, now we're going to have to scroll way, way down until we find that file that we just downloaded. In this case, it's going to be called um, uh, AMG. Go, go, go to your new file. <laughs> and it's going to be a very good idea to extract it, but we're going to try it without it right now. See, um, and you only need one thing from this file in, in this case. Um, every DLL file you're going to want on the plugins in the plugins folder. Okay. Now it's possible that you're going to have to rename that. Um, if you choose to rename it, be sure you put .dll right after it for the file extension. Because if you don't, it won't work. Okay. It won't be corrupted, but it won't work. Okay. So I'm going to actually cut that and go back. I'm going to paste it here in the plugins folder on Audacity. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that out and go to Audacity and I'm going to record something. It's taking its time right now. Okay. Alright, now time to record. Test one two, testing one two three, testing one two. Okay. We really don't need those grand pauses there, so you know we're gonna delete those. They're pretty unnecessary in this case. Really don't need them. I could have them, but I choose not to. Let's go to effect, and it should be in the effect and it is okay so so here's what we downloaded uh, I know you can't see that very well it's called advanced MIDI gate and um, here you can here's your new controllers and it goes way way down to the bottom now this this thing's really huge so we're gonna hold, go ahead and just hit OK and see what it does to the sound and in this case, there's really no sound for some reason. Sometimes that happens. 
And I want you to be very careful as you download these um, plugins because some of them don't work, and it's possible that you could lose the whole program. Like you could lose Audacity, and you have to reinstall it. Um, so kind of use this at your own risk. But you know, if you're trying to fulfill your dream, just pray about it, and it'll happen. Because that's what I had to do. Just just ask your Lord and Savior to help you find things that are good for you. All right. Good luck.